So if you're swimming in the ocean and you see this coming towards you, don't worry about running because it's too late. This is the Japanese Ningen. So what's a Ningen? Some people claim that they're kind of like mermaids and sirens and sing people to their death, but they are wrong since the Ningen is so much bigger at about 60 feet long. In 2022, some whale researchers saw a huge whale-like creature with smooth, pale skin that looked like a human. It even had human hands with fingers. It surfaced near their ship, then disappeared back in the water again. But this wasn't the first appearance. In 2005, Google Earth actually captured a large, massive creature in the southern ocean near the coast of Namibia. And of course, scientists claimed that it was just an iceberg that somewhat looked like a sea creature. But then in 2010, while filming a video, a Japanese research team caught a mysterious creature at the end of the video. It was a very large creature that had small eyes and a large smiling mouth that was lying on the ocean floor. Some people claimed that it was just a snaggletooth sea snake, and no, it wasn't me. No! Some people even claimed that the Ningen can walk upright on land like a human. Some of the footage hasn't even been released due to government interference not wanting to scare the public. Fun fact, Ningen in Japanese actually means human. And since we're already in Japan, this is the Omi Bozu. If you're in the ocean and the water's really calm, that's probably when you need to get really nervous. The Umi Bozu appears when the water is really calm and then they rush up to the surface and then destroy your ship. That's not even the scariest part though. Some people have said that sometimes they will ask you for a barrel so that they can drink some water. What they really end up doing is pouring the water in your ship and watch your ship slowly sink. These legendary creatures are also known as sea monks. This is because they are gigantic and hairless, like me. They are said to have snake-like limbs and have seen by many fishermen over the years. Others claim that they are small and often attack in groups, kind of like mermaids. Mermaids aren't real, are they? But why are there so many stories about them then? Check this out. This video was taken from inside a submarine. The submarine was below the surface in Greenland. While the crew was looking up and observing a school of fish above them, something came from behind them. You can see a large webbed hand latch itself onto the submarine's window. This hand seems to be about five times larger than a human hand. The creature then swam away quickly and left the submarine crew scared and stunned. I would have been too at that point and that's when I could have shown y'all that I can run on water. Bruh. Just saying. Just to show you a closer look, check this out. You can see the head of a creature. Kind of looks like a human too and has my hair. If you're swimming in the ocean and you see this, run fast. This is the doomsday fish. Part of the Japanese mythology, or fish only swim to the surface when bad things are about to happen to humans. Normally they live about 3,000 feet down in the ocean and to encounter a live or fish swimming is extremely rare. They are known to grow over 50 feet and weigh over 600 pounds. In 2011, many people saw about 20 doomsday fish washed ashore right before an 8.9 magnitude earthquake in Japan. The earthquake caused a massive tsunami which resulted in a nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan. But what's crazy, besides me, is the fact that the earthquake shifted the Earth's axis and changed the Earth's rotation speed. In 2019, some ore fish swam to the surface right before a 7.3 magnitude earthquake which caused massive blackouts. And now some scuba divers in Taiwan has found some ore fish swimming closer to the ocean surface, which is making many people wonder what's coming next. Many people say it's just a coincidence and science experts say it's just mythology. But the question is, what are these fish running from an ocean? Here's another creature found off the coast of Japan in 2007. Bro, is Japan becoming a new Australia or what? Frilled sharks are absolutely terrifying. They look like eels, have the head of a shark and the teeth of, no, not me. They have 300 trident shaped teeth spread out in 25 rows. Their mouth is much wider than a normal shark. The frilled shark gets its name from its six pairs of gills and its eyes even glow in the dark. They're almost extinct though and said to have been around about 80 million years. That's almost as long as your grandpa. This alien looking creature was caught on camera thousands of feet below the surface in the Gulf of Mexico in Perdido. They called this the ghost squid since it was transparent and its legs stretched down to the ocean floor. These are known as Magna Pinna, also called big fin squins and are seven times larger than a human. Did you know that a mysterious creature dragged the great white shark down to the bottom of the ocean and then ate it? So it's big enough an ocean to eat a great white shark. In 2003, a great white shark was tagged by researchers to study it for temperature and depth. The shark was released in track, but then something bigger and better came along and dragged it down to the bottom of the ocean at 1900 feet and ate it. Some of you would say it was an orca or even maybe another great white shark, but those are both wrong and here's why. The digital tag that was recorded temperature showed that it was 78 degrees in the belly of the creature. Arcus temperature range in between 97 and 100 degrees while great rights are below 70 degrees. But scientists claim that it was just another great white shark that cannibalized the smaller great white shark. I mean, you know what they say, the bigger the shark, the bigger the bite. But the question is, what do you think ate that shark? If you're swimming at the beach and you see this thing, don't go sticking your body in it. It looks like a plastic bag that sunk to the ocean floor. But this is a worm-like sea creature called pyrosomes. They are giant creatures that live 200 meters below the surface of the ocean floor. Their open is a 1.8 meters wide and can swallow you easily. And if that isn't crazy, enough check this out this isn't just one creature though these are thousands of creatures working together to survive they create these tunnels to filter water for food they realize that working together in unity will help their chances in life surviving imagine if humans acted like this if you think the ocean is the only scary place in the water then you're wrong a fisherman was in his boat off the coast of brazil at a rio grande he was being followed by a terrifying creature with glowing eyes and this thing was gigantic the fisherman kept speeding up his boat but the creature kept following him speeding up leaping out of the water 
Some people said it was just a big seal or a dolphin, but if you look close, those aren't the eyes of a seal or a dolphin. And dolphins or seals are not that big. Luckily, the fisherman was able to lose this creature, and no one still knows what it is to this day. You probably heard of the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. This video was taken by an Ireland YouTuber named Connell Malarkey. It looks like a massive creature swimming across the lake, and this looks like its head. Most people said it was just a whale. Some say it was a sign of the Loch Ness Monster, while others say it was just a turtle or something in the water just floating along. If you look at the boats and the waves, the water isn't moving that fast. So what is it? And if you like these mysterious videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell for more.